All right, in this series, we're gonna look at uh, the hair section. So, you know, this could, some of the hairs may not come in for your model, and that's kind of a, a bit of a work in progress with the Unreal Engine. So, uh, as long as you have it on auto LOD, you should be fine. So what you, you know, just read through these carefully. And I'm gonna go with this one and drag it in. Just basically click. And let's see how it changes. Uh, still way too much hair. I have a little bit less, obviously. So let's go here and try this one. And let's see. So it's a lot of trial and error. No, definitely not. And, you know, this one really doesn't look like, like me. But let's have a look anyways. Oh, my God. No way. Let's try this one. It's kind of back to the original. So basically, you want to play with that rough hair versus fine hair. Uh, I'm more like black hair, so go over here. And I'm going to try this one down here. Short and clean. I think that's the one I just put. So the buzz cut receding. Well, yeah, I'm losing a little bit of hair, so let's go with that one. And I would like to be able to add a little more. And I don't think you have that option currently. I definitely have more than that. So that's why I don't like that one. Short and messy. Let's go and see what that looks like. So a lot of trial and error. It is messy, that's for sure. Short slick back. Let's try that one again. I wish there was a way to just reduce the amount of hair easily. I have a little bit of gray hair, so I'm going to go with this one. It's not perfect. Uh, let's have a look at the eyebrows. Okay, so same as before, we want to use a reference image and kind of try a few different looks. And you got to go with what's there, really. That's just what it is, okay? That's kind of close, so I'm going to go with that. Eyelashes, that's a really tough one. That looks like a girl doesn't look like me maybe it looks like what you have that's fine um, and what you might want to do is just zoom in definitely way too long for me that's none you have no eyelashes you have that option okay so it's not perfect mustache is really more where I should be I think I'll go with this one and then I go with the beard, because I have sort of a goatee thing going on. So maybe I could say that's kind of it. Again, the model is not going to be perfect. And you go with what you think works the best with you. And take a few minutes to retweak it. Sometimes, you know, at this point, you want to go back to your, to your blend. Because now you're more complete. And maybe you go to the move and you realize, oh, geez, my eyes are should be way more apart than this. And I'm going to go like that. And, you know, because the model is more complete at this point. You can see how you can move the eyes here. I don't know. That's a kind of weird thing. Maybe a little, like, up. And you're basically trying to do your best to to go back. So there's definitely an iterative process there. And just trying to alt. Not sure why it's giving me a hard time here. So just stretch the nose a little bit yeah, like this. I look more like me. And you know, another thing you can always do is preview and you can see it as it's animated. So that's a really useful feature and then just press play and you can see the character He's like, okay does that look like me no what what, I, what what's missing so you know go and tweak it press stop and again so let's go maybe to the sculpt move section well you know you can just keep tweaking these and i think that's what you have to do is uh, take the time to slowly and don't forget the original blend mode 
because this can kind of go get some looks that you can't easily get through the move and sculpt tool. So you can always go back to this uh, to, to help you out. And as this tool evolves, there will be more options. And maybe by the time this makes it out, uh, you will see extra options. And I really encourage you to, to, to take a little bit extra time to iterate in, in that sense. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and we're going to talk about the body and the clothes and, and renaming your model and all this in the last video. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thank you very much.